Hi guys and welcome to Easy Adapted PE. Before we get into the tricks and tools, I want to ask everybody a question and I'm doing this because I want to connect. I feel like I've got a few followers and I love you guys and you're always asking questions and commenting and so now I want to ask you a question. So the question is how are you going to utilize these bowling adaptations? Tell me, I wanna know it all. We can share with each other. We can start becoming even better teachers once we start talking to each other and learning more. So tell me how you're gonna use them. Tell me the ones that you use, please. I need new stuff. And um, we can just learn from each other and grow. And I love that. As always, subscribe, ring the bell, and I will continue making these videos. Okay, so from my first tip or trick is one of the easiest, probably something you already know, but I still feel the need to share it because I know there's a lot of new teachers and a lot of new adapted PE teachers, and I think it's important that we share our knowledge. So I love to use balls with different textures, bright colors, anything that feels different than the normal playground ball or rolling ball or gator ball anything that has some sort of engagement for that student is amazing specifically with students with visual impairments but really with any student you know we're talking kids with down syndrome autism md cp the gamut this is a great way to engage students and get them excited about what it is that you're trying to teach them using different weighted balls really starts to engage the student and their sensory needs so every kid is different some kids are going to need really lightweight equipment but others are really gonna thrive if you're using a heavy weighted ball. So it's important to know your student and give them what they need so that they will be successful. So in this first adaptation, I'm using a kid's slide. You can get these at garage sales, you can get them at Amazon, you can get them anywhere. And basically the student puts the ball on the slide, pushes it down towards the pins. I know it seems simple enough, but for students with unique needs, it's so important that we start off at a level that they are able to accomplish and feel successful. And so this is why I start with something like the slide. I do have a super fancy bowling ramp and there is a link below if you wanna find out where I got mine. Um, it is expensive and starting out in Adaptive PE, a lot of the money is coming out of your own pocket. So most of the stuff that I purchase is from Dollar Tree or garage sales. But this bowling ramp that I have is super nice. It's convenient, it's simple, it's lightweight. Uh, so I really do enjoy it. If you're looking and in the market, the link is below. The second piece that I like to incorporate is having some sort of auditory component on the pins or the net, whatever that student is rolling the ball towards. A lot of the times I like to actually have the auditory component in the ball, so I will use these really cool bell balls. Um, again, link below if you want to see where I got mine. And they're awesome because the student can hear where the ball is going and what direction it's going in. And then once it hits something, the, the student can hear that it has hit whatever the target is. So if you don't have the bell balls, what I've done is I've gotten these pins and these are regular pins that maybe you get from your phys ed catalog. And the top of them, there's like a little black rubber piece that pulls right out. And then instead I've put, uh, I honestly can't remember what I put in this pin, but I know that it jiggles and I know that it makes noise. So now for students that are into bowling, so this is our older kiddos, maybe middle school, high school, they go bowling either with their parents, maybe there is a club at school that they go bowling and maybe, maybe they're in a bowling league. What I've made is this really cool tactile board. Now, this is a glove that I got. It's for throwing and catching. It has Velcro on one side and these are the balls that came with it. And all I've done is take the balls and align them as the pins are aligned at the end of the bowling lane. So when the student bowls and knocks down, down pins, I take away the balls that they have knocked down. Here are the pins that you've knocked down. Here are the pins that you have left. And I'll let the student feel it so that they can determine where it is they need to place their bowling ball and roll their bowling ball down the lane next. That's all I have for you today. I know they were very simple. And for some of you that are out there that are that have been around the block, you're probably like, yeah, it's been there, done that, heard this. Tell me what you do. Give me some new ideas and let's share with each other. Hope to see you guys again. Bye-bye.